Awesome. Welcome to the Bitcoin Show. We have an exciting one today on Alex Becker's April 2nd recommendations. There's been a little bit of a mini pump, would you call it, Trist? Yep. Yep. Just wouldn't use the word bull or bear in any of these mini pumps. Not yet. The market still hasn't decided where it's going, but obviously ETH's gone from 2400 up to 3400 And the Becker thesis is that it goes down to the micros. And as he's tweeted, he says, finally, it's reaching his tokens. How has he gone? Yes, sir. With that, it's quite interesting. The timing of this video and the timing of the gap in between his videos is there's a lot of people out there who say they only pump because of his videos. But also, if you notice when he spaced his last couple of videos, yeah, he basically hasn't posted one in three weeks. And then he conveniently posts one as this pump or whatever is happening or about to happen. It seems more like he's timing it well than he's causing him as well, which is something I could see a lot of people say. Yes. And we've done a video on that on our main channel. We can link it up below. But we basically found that he had almost no, uh, he, sorry, he did have influence over the short term market, maybe a few hundred thousand dollars up to a million, but he cannot save a bear market and he cannot really create a bull market. And he doesn't recommend coins with less than a $2 million market cap. Um, so the most you can get there is a 50 uh, 100% return. But yeah, we have measured and he has, he does have a short term impact, but even like his state and arena just got absolutely hammered 90%. Um, and he had no control over that. But these were, this was the list of his uh, recommendations. We've tweeted these. Go follow us on Twitter if you're not already. We've got our new Godzilla uh, NFT. We've got a pink Godzilla with a, with a gold leaf earring uh, and a cool yellow beanie. Uh, so here's our display picture of the month. Um, so welcome to the team, God Jira. Um, and Melbourne-based we, project, which is cool. As a Melbourne-based project, that's cool. That's where Tristan lives uh, down in Australia. Um, now, Alex Becker basically has been celebrating uh, that. Yeah, rise my dead shit coins. This uh, shit coin night king beckons ye. So basically, the pump, the overall pump, like Ethereum, Bitcoin, everything is going up. He says starts at the big um, macro caps, I don't know, like on the big blue chip ones, and then go down to the middle class and then down to like the, the $2 million to $50 million market cap ones. Uh, and these are just a couple he's recommended. We're going to go through the whole list together. Uh, but these were the ones that he was celebrating on um, Twitter, which actually, funny enough, did he put Cry of War into that video? He didn't. Um, Cry of War is an interesting <laughs> one. That's hilarious because, yeah, he didn't play. It wasn't in his video, but he's been celebrating that, which good for him. But here's the list. Why is Cry War interesting before we jump in? Uh, Cry War is one of the two that his soul wallet gets um, distributed by the owners, Monkey Ball, and which I would assume it means he's real early investor or an advisor. But it's it's interesting every time I see it is because I know we, we did some snooping and found his soul wallet. And I, I think it might be the vested how the vesting works with a lot of the tokens. I'm going to say he was a real early investor um, and it gets vested over time. Interesting. So yeah, he's getting a, was it a monthly or a weekly stipend? One of those. A regular stipend. And it's either from him staking the tokens that's popping up or they're actually got him on payroll for uh, an advisory, or potentially even promotion. Uh, but he would probably have to disclose that. So we're guessing advisory. Uh, but anyway, it's not in the list that he recommended. What we do have is a lot of green, you can see initially, and we're gonna go over uh, which ones are going green and why we think they are, along along with some like dangerous uh, diluted market caps, which Tristan's always first to, to realize, uh, which are really interesting, something like the um, THG here, Thetan Arena. Uh, he recommended it at $12, and Tristan's is like, well, the diluted market cap is absolutely ridiculous and it's gone down to dollar 33 and even in that video he's like this is where i've lost most of my money that's what becca said so uh we're gonna be wary of that this time around as well because i did also put quite a bit into thetan arena myself um so starting at the top we've got moon river now this one's an interesting one interest you'll touch on uh what's you've put down in the bottom of the sheet but this is up 17 percent in 48 hours which is very impressive that's the biggest uh loss that ben ben has had too by far moon river more than uh, solar beam? Yeah, yeah. Same, same. Same, yeah. Um, yeah. I think I got in at like 350 or something at one point. Just a couple of thousand, nothing crazy. Uh, but as Tristan, you've said, you prefer... Yes, Lima. I have um, Moonbeam Glimmer. 
Um, the reason being is I wouldn't have been put onto Moon River if it wasn't for Alex Becker. Um, and then also did some deep dive into Moon River. And it's basically, obviously, it's its own net, but it was produced as a test net. People correct me if I'm wrong for Moonbeam. It came out a couple of months before Moonbeam did. And then now Moonbeam's out. It makes sense that that's going to get most of the money, which is already over a billion dollar market cap. It's the real live net that Moon River was a test net for. Moon River is still going to go because it's its own ecosystem. But Moonbeam would be where I would be putting my money into if I was li- if I like the technology and the ecosystem. Because Moon River has a much um, bigger market cap, and if that if that no, it all is all that it was, Moon River is much smaller now. It's a third oh, of the size. Wow. Um, also, wow. if you click okay, on the website, click on website, and then click yeah the top one. You see how the website is, you click on Moon River's website and it goes to Moonbeam. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah. And it's just more so learning and researching the actual tokens that are recommended instead of blindly buying, which you can blindly buy, but then you research as you hold instead of just holding and not being sure what to do would have opened your eyes to other opportunities. Yeah, good. It's a good point. So Tristan's picked that up. Uh, Like this had a 55, I hold a couple thousand dollars worth of that. Um, Thanks to Tristan. But um, it's got a 55% return in 48 hours as opposed to a 17% return just because Tristan did that deep dive a little deeper. But we're also not 100% sure on all this stuff too. So make sure mm-hmm. you do your own research, please, at all times. Don't ever blindly follow is, us specifically. Which is just what we're saying for Becca. We're, we're lot, a lot less educated and a lot less powerful than Alex Becca. So if we're telling you to do your own research on his recommendations, you guys should definitely be doing your own research on our recommendations. And they're also not recommendations. We'll sure. Yeah, that's, yeah that's true. that is true. <laughs> On our discourse about Becca's recommendations. Um, now, Remark uh, gone up 14%. Uh, Gala was at 26, uh, 0.26, and it's still at 0.26. It's a little decimal in there, so it's just up. Um, now, oh, these are pretty big. Can we? Uh, one more. Here. Yes, we can. Gala and Engine are two good examples of how the overall market has moved in this time. And ETH, yes. we do have the ETH control down the bottom, but these we are by ETH. far the biggest market caps that exist in this list. And it's more so supports the thesis that it is a mini pump, a trickle through pump for the smaller market cap gaming cryptos at the moment. Yes. Yeah. The micros are really starting to move and shake. Um, so engine, you can see has a 1.6, a really good uh, ratio between market cap and fully diluted there. And over the last seven days seems to have been pretty stagnant. Where those micros underneath, you can see pretty stagnant here. Those micros are really the ones that are starting to pump. Vulcan Forged, it's gone from $13.53 to almost $17. I did pick up a nice stack of this myself, uh, which has been a healthy a healthy pump. Um, this is one that uh, it's supposed to be the Steam. Uh, they they create their own games as well. I don't know if Steam do that, but they're the marketplace and the creation of uh, games. Um, and they are, we probably should put market caps in here, but we can do that next time. They're doing well. Uh, UFO started as a meme coin. That's uh, these decimals are so small that you can barely see it, but that's up nine percent. Thane Arena, we've uh, briefly touched on an excellent game with uh, some probably something like thirteen million players right now, but just terrible tokenomics uh, where they're fully diluted market cap. And we can pull it up again. I know we talk about it quite a bit on this channel, but like Alex Becker said, it's where he's lost most of his money. Um, it's getting better and better as they continue to, to dilute it. But you can see it's $161 million market cap and a, almost a $600 million fully diluted market cap. It's uh, more which, so the vesting and the distribution of from the fully diluted to the micro cap, so to the market cap has been quite aggressive during a bear market, which obviously has led to the coins dip, dip, dip. Absolutely dip. And actually, we can, we can zoom out on that and just see the last year. Just been an absolute slide from twenty dollars down to a dollar forty-two, and Becca was recommending it here in the twelve. Oh, that was up here in the twelve dollar. Oh wow, here it is up here in the twelve dollar range. This was like a really strong recommendation from yeah. Becca. And the market case, do your own research. And the market cap at that recommendation was three hundred million, and it's currently sitting at one hundred sixty million with at a dollar forty. So you can do the math about a, a four times more coins added. Um, 
Uh, mine's a Delania. Um, it's got quite a big market cap, but Beck is very bullish on it. Um, Cedify is an interesting one. I'm actually in Chain Guardians in the, um, the race to the Board Ape Yacht Club NFT, which is a series we do here on this channel. We're flipping an ETH into a Board Ape Yacht Club. I think about 0.44 ETH worth of this. These are both uh, launch pads or at least attached to launch pads. Um, and I remember Becca saying in one video, which is why I chose Chain Guardians over Cedify, which is not the right choice or wrong choice. It's winning at the moment. But um, he said it's basically an underrated version of Cedify that um, he hasn't understood why it didn't blow up to the point that Cedify did. So that is what I'm betting on down here. Um, both interesting things to get into. And I'm actually going to be staking this in order to get into some um, ideas through that challenge. One one quick side um, from this. The it makes sense that the uh sorry, it makes sense that the launch pads aren't doing too well at the moment compared to a couple of like the actual sustainable coins is because the launch pads thrive during markets where you can invest in an IDO and then you get a, a large amount of money. Um and so during a yes questionable maybe bull run maybe just a small pump maybe we're still in the bear market whatever that is all of those is just not uh will not help any of these launch pads but as soon as we get into a bull and like a certified bull and whenever the sentiment is we are doing well that's when cedify that's when chain guardians that's when a lot of the different launch pads will go um yes should go not will go because maybe they won't maybe they have a bad launch pad but they should go like good launch pads should go <laughs> they should yeah because you, you they actually have utility um now th this is also funny i was trying to scroll back in here because what i used to see was like becca used to really recommend spin top um ooh, maybe not crypto blades i might be making that one up mass haunt uh these are age of tanks it was funny because you watch Alex Becker's videos and you see him recommending all these micro cap cryptos and stuff. I'm like, I wonder where he's getting his information from. And then I used to come into like Cedify and I saw that a lot of the things he was recommending were the ones that were upcoming on um, Cedify. So potentially a really good way for us, and this is why I'm on Chain Guardians, to actually get educated in the industry is go see what is upcoming in those, even if you're not joining the IDOs. Because Becker, that's where he's also looking. That's where he's reaching out to people for advisory roles. Um, D race, always a big Becker recommendation that got up to like seven to $10 at one point, um, it's down to a dollar 66, but he's pumped 4%. Uh, we talked about chain guardians, Sidus heroes. Oh, is that the biggest one? No, second biggest from Definia, but 48% up. Shall we pull that one up? Cause I'm actually not that educated on Sidus. So Sidus is a pretty big, um, yeah, almost fully functioning game that they've, they've been working on it for a while. Yeah. The big diluted, but that does happen with gaming, especially when it's play to earn. Um, like you actually, it, you earn. I'm not sure if you own this or Senate is their other one. Can you pull up Senate as well? Yep. Um, yeah. This is their DAO. Yeah. How's that gone as well? Um, because this is also quite a common thing that happens with. Wow. Yeah, you have to look at the tokenomics to really know that. Well, no, just go to the last seven days. It's unfair to just show that one. <laughs> Has it thrown the same? Well, a little bit, yeah. So this is their DAO for it. And then they've also got Citus. It's a pretty well-functioning um, play-to-own game. We do both own an NFT from this that you may have forgotten. Yes, I forgot. The one That's that we why we do these milk. episodes to keep us remembering and on track. Um, the one that you bought with Milk2. Ah, uh, yes. The old Milk2 NFT. Well, I'd like to get out of that as soon as possible because this diluted market cap is not well, healthy. The diluted's not as important as the tokenomics. It's not about the diluted. Yes. It's about the tokenomics. Yeah. What is their plans with this? Because yeah. their plans with this could be burn 80% of it in one year. And it's like, okay, well, it doesn't matter that it exists at the moment. Uh, but obviously, this is uh, not going into tokenomics. We can have other podcasts for that. So, do um, subscribe so that pump we have stuff on this channel. That pump is also. Uh, coincides with the latest uh, NFT sort of play to earn trend. And because they're so heavily play to earn based, NFT based, that it also equates to the token going a little bit. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, Veracity up 8%. Definia. I don't understand why he keeps calling it Definia. I thought the joke was over a while back. Uh, at least it could be on us, but it's definitely spelled Definia Finance. Um, and it's a little bit weird because it's a um, it's a gaming token. 
um but it is called defina finance so it's a metaverse based play to earn. yeah i'm pretty sure they're trying to build their own metaverse um with it uh it's done very well recently um what's this tokenomics like let's see let's see this is Literally why I bought Chain Guardians, and of course, none of this is advice once again, but one of the things that led to me to buy Chain Guardians was just seeing that most of his recommendations, and he mentions this, go watch his other video on from April 2nd if you haven't, he mentions the that you should be doing your own research into the dilution of market caps. He calls us a bunch of idiots and stuff, the classic Becker stuff as he says that. Um, but Chain Guardians just had such a healthy ratio compared to all these other things so it's a 3x ratio or just less than a 3x ratio with these other ones some of them are 20 times um but like tristan said check out the tokenomics go deeper get more educated because that's how you're going to make more money and then uh what's this meta gods is that yeah it's meta gods don't know anything about it surprised to see it on the end too. uh yeah once again a crazy crazy I think that's what is that because it's a 40. new token at the moment 48x um so yeah go do your tokenomics if you'd like to see us do the tokenomics for you i'm also going to be doing them by myself because i want to dig deeper into this uh but yeah co comment below and we can we can dive into that together um do also join our discord the average roi here was 13 percent in two days which is excellent again we could be going up this could be a mini pump and then it could be an influencer could be pump 10x could be an influencer pump the big thing that becca always says is it's a risk, but in a real bear market, you might lose 50 to 80%. In a bull market, you might 10x. So it's like it's an asymmetric risk, risk reward pump. Don't put money in, you can't afford to lose. But come and join us in Discord because we've finally opened that. We've got an awesome community. I think we're at 350 members right now. Uh, and it's really like not tight knit and cool to interact one on one with you guys. Let us know what you're investing in. I know Tristan's giving one-on-one -on -one technical help in there at the moment, which is very uh, awesome to see. Um, but come meet everybody and uh, we'd love to see you in there. Yep. Um, come see, come chat, come help people, come discuss whatever you're doing. Like to hear there's some helpful people, like even just discussing soul NFTs before they come to um, OpenSea, a couple other people, just lots of things happening. Um, the bigger we get, the more uh, information we can have. And to obviously, we don't want to get too big. Um, a nice like middle ground where there's always people online to chat to and also help at the same time and give alpha, et cetera. So. Yeah, the goal, the goal at the moment is to create the most knowledgeable and the friendliest community. So if you uh, resonate with that, you're very welcome in there. If, so yeah, if you're not friendly, um, we'll, we'll, we'll create a non-friendly section that you can come join. <laughs> that's, that's a good idea. Um, and it won't be inside the Discord. It'll be in a separate one. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next one.